Who's your biggest celebrity fan? Like, who's someone that's commented, you're like, oh my God, Kim Kardashian loves me. My biggest one was uh, probably Britney Spears. Oh, excuse me? How do you know? What happened? Only the biggest Tell celebrity. Tell us the whole show. Like, when, we were, when I was at the Olympics, she like wrote a tweet about me. And, and like quoted like things I had said like all throughout like oh the God. Olympics and stuff. Yeah. That's you it. There's no one bigger. Do you watch her on Instagram? Do I? Will you do an I, impression of her catwalk on Instagram? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Thank you. You got this? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Adam. That's Adam. good, right? That's no, very that accurate. Was accurate. Yeah. It was so accurate. Ever since I've been 12, I trained myself to never smile with my eyes. <laughs> Because somebody was like, oh, you, you know, you'll get crow's feet. And I was like, what are those? And they're like, um, they're like, when you go like this, I was like, f that. So you've lived your that. life looking like a serial killer instead? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> did you know that you play a major role in the pink world tour? Wait, did you go to the concert? Yeah. I was there last night too. Okay, so you saw yourself. I did. So pink yeah, I was has like, this. Am I performing to a sold out crowd at the Staples Center? And the answer was, I was. Yeah. So Pink does this like inspirational montage about how like she's like stayed true and it's perfect with our theme modern love because she's like, I don't believe in gay marriage or straight marriage. I just want everyone to have a happy marriage. Oh, I and love then you that. see Adam like triple lunch. Yeah, I barely recognize myself because I was like, who's that thin girl? Worst online dating story is I match with somebody on Tinder mm -hmm. and he sent a video message of him talking. So it's like, I have an idea of what he looks like. I think that video message was like from a few years ago because I showed up there and he looked completely different. You are an American icon. Who would do this to you? I wasn't always. <laughs> you were always. It was pre-American Yeah, I was always, but nobody knew. Like there were times when like my credit card would get rejected because it would be like insufficient funds. <laughs> but now like the funds are sufficient. Adam, <laughs> have you you upped? I've never you upped, but I've answered a you up. And yeah. you've gone over? Did no. you go over? I no. Just like you up? Yeah, I am. Took a pee yeah. break. Back to sleep. I always answer I, because like it was always so late that I was like, I'm willing to play this game, but you're gonna lose. Uh -oh. So you up? Yes. <laughs> it's just yes. Hor horny? Not really. <laughs> But maybe. Gotta masturbate. And then the I was always like, cool. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? The ball's in your court, sir. <laughs> Adam performs psychological warfare on you up text, and I love it. I just did it to my husband. In what way? He sent me an, a DM asking if later I wanted to have relations. I said, with who? Open relationships. I heard they're popular these days with the kids. I know some people in them. Um, I'm not. Yeah. Could you ever be? I, I see how they work. Um, in my current relationship, I don't think it would be like an option. When I think like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to like have an open relationship? Like I can just like jerk off in the bathroom and like save myself a lot of money and time. You can like, yeah. Money? <laughs> the thing is, is I, are you paying for this third person? Yeah. No, like you have to take them to dinner yeah. and you no, have to pay true. them. <laughs> every, time, every time I think about cheating on my husband, I'm like the amount of vaginal maintenance that comes with a new relationship no. is out of my it's budget. Just like Allegedly, sleeping in separate beds is great for your relationship. Really? According to Psychology Today, 30% of Americans would rather sleep separately from their other half. Let's vote. Okay, I wouldn't, but I understand why I would. <laughs> um, that was like a riddle. That was a riddle. <laughs> it was a limerick. Yeah. And I'm if like, you answer it, I'll give you $100. <laughs> yeah. I don't actually have an issue sleeping in the bed with Zach. My worst fear is a home invasion, and so I need someone there with me at all times. Becca, for being as hard as she is, is terrified of a home invasion. You know that Zach sleeps with a bat? under the bed. Ask, ask Becca about the bat. No, I have a gun. Probably called it a bat because, you know, she's from Canada. <laughs> it's called sleep divorce, which I love. Zach's going to file for this because I fart <laughs> so much in our bed. OK, are you ready for happy ending? Yes. 
Jacqueline Vanek. I'm such a giver. This one's for you, girl. You're never a giver, so I'm... That's not true. Sad. So I know it's festival season, which is Jack Vanek season. Yes. I also know that you're obsessed with me. So I got you some looks <laughs> that I think oh, you could no. use. Oh. Jack's <laughs> with the picture of Kelty on it. Yes. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay. Okay. One. Cowboy <laughs> hat with Kelty's face on I it. I want to see you perfect. in that. Perfect for stagecoach. I will be wearing this. I should make a pink outfit for this. Oh, this yes. is really cute. Okay. Second, thirsty bitch. Also, <laughs> Kelty's face on it. That's great. A clutch. Kelty's face on it. Where is this from? Claire's? <laughs> <laughs> and this is couture bitch. Is this the last one? Yeah. Couture I mean, bitch. just in case I want to like oh. lay oh. on the lawn, have a beer. You know what I mean? Just relax. Do your ad. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> hashtag ad. Jack <laughs> by Kelty. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Yeah. All right, on that note, I'm more famous than ever. Thank you for all the very narcissistic gifts. Can't wait to sit on your face. <laughs> on that note, see, see you next, next Sunday. Sunday. Giddy up. Yeehaw. Yeehaw.